would be a good spot to put your stair chair, your backboards, uh, your ALS bags would go in these uh, storage shelvings that's accessible from the inside and the outside. Uh, next door here is going to be your side entry door into the ambulance module. This is a Horton ambulance module. It's got one, two, and then three steps is into the ambulance. It's got a built-in child restraint seat. Glove box holder here to put all your gloves. Suction unit. reset that warning light <clears throat> so the suction unit here is so that's gonna be your suction unit so that as you can see that works good so if we turn off our suction unit right here uh, you have oxygen ports on the action area you got an oxygen port up there in the ceiling uh, so yeah so we, it looks like we have two oxygen ports one on the action area one up in the ceiling we have two two iv hooks in the ceiling one iv hook there one iv hook there we have one two three grab handles one long one and then we have two short grab handles on the other side there we have a side cpr seat this side cpr seat is oriented slightly lower than the head, patient's head area uh, so the patient's head would be somewhere in this area here and you can see the side cpr is right there we have two d size oxygen cylinder holders we have a standard antler style striker stretcher retention this will work with the ferno you might have to adjust that up and down depending on uh, the stretcher you guys have, but this will work with Ferno and Striker. We have uh, all the cabinets slide nice and free. And then these cabinets are all flip ups. So there's a lever here, you pull those, and then all these levers flip up for easy restocking. So close those, close those. It's not going anywhere. Again, same thing, flip up. This is another cool little cabinet. Uh, side CPR seat, you have your uh, trash can, sharps container goes in here. So your trash can, sharps container. Uh, side uh, cap, or the squad bench has flip up uh, for underneath storage. So you gotta, big uh, storage compartment underneath there uh, again there's uh, another set of uh, glove box holders so there's a total of eight glove box that you could put in this ambulance and this thing is really deep so you could probably stack three glove box glove boxes deep in here so you could I don't even know how many gloves you can put in here, but a lot. All right, so we're coming into here. Uh, these compartments are adjustable, so depending on what you guys have, you can adjust these. Same thing on this side, adjustable. Uh, they got our Motorola radio here. I'm not sure which county it's set up for. Uh, down here, this uh, cabinet is accessible from the outside compartment and the inside compartment by the uh, squad bench, or uh, uh, captain's chair. Uh, these compartments here are also accessible from the outside compartment and inside. Same thing with these uh, down here in the bottom, access to them from the outside and inside. Uh, coming in here, we have flashlights. Uh, flashlights do not work. That's probably why they left them in here. These flashlights don't work. 
uh, some more oxygen compartment uh, or actually some more cabinets here and then you also have kind of cool feature I didn't even know this thing had it here but you have a uh, little compartment to close your oxygen bottle from the inside of the ambulance it's kind of cool this first time I've ever seen that on uh, <laughs> on the inside of a cabinet is what I meant to say first time I ever see that on the inside of a cabinet uh, this is where all your electronics are uh, there's some diagrams here this ambulance is star of life certified it's child uh, built-in child seat so all your controls are up there we have uh, fluorescent uh, lights in the ceiling as well as uh, in dome lights Tires on this ambulance are like new. Uh, has wheel and LED emergency lights that are red. Uh, wheel and 900 series uh, LED turn signals. Wheel and 900 or 600 series brake lights. And then you have your standard halogen wheel and uh, uh, reverse lights. It's got a light bar with uh, a mixture of LEDs and strobes. It's got a flip up step here. Coming around to the driver's side here, your first compartment on the back and coming around to here is your next compartment. Again, that's the compartment that's accessible from the inside for this shelf, top shelf here. And then coming around to the first compartment on the left side is where your main oxygen bottle goes. Star of Life certified. It's got the main oxygen regulator here. And then coming around to the driver's side. Again, very clean, no rust. Driver's seat very good this ambulance has 83,000 miles on it it's a 6.6 .6 Duramax diesel you're gonna be all your emergency controls here so turn that off for the emergency lights and then these control your scene lights so let's turn off all the scene lights and then I guess it has takedown lights on the bottom of the ambulance that's what that is there that's going to be your co control and then there's a main power switch down here to turn off your batteries that kills all the power to the module siren unit it's a wheel and siren you got air horns uh, you heard the, those on earlier in the video ac heat all that works good truck is serviced Uh, we do have uh, brake assist and engine brake and all that over here. Horn works good. Your lights come on and off. These are manual lights. It does have power locks. Uh, power locks control all the compartment doors as well, so they lock all of the compartments with these. Uh, we have automatic windows on both passenger driver's side, and then these are Velvac power mirrors controlled through here. Again, so if you turn that on, you can see that mirror going up and down. off 6.6 6 Duramax turbo diesel underneath here
All right, thank you for watching. This is Pillip Ambulance, uh, located in Pennsylvania. More details are on our website at pillipambulances.com. Thanks for watching.